Senate Minority Leader Goswe Akpabio meet with APC leader Bola Tinubu hours after meeting with President Mahmoudou Buhari. What are the plans of the minority leader and the leader of the PDP in the Senate? And coalition of United Political Party, CUPP, is forging a common front ahead of the 2019 elections. As the coalition shows signs of strength to win at the center, what are the odds? Many thanks for joining everyone. This is Politics Today live on Channels Television. I'm Shio Kimbaloye in Lagos. In 193 days or thereabout, Nigerians will go to the polls to elect new leaders at different levels. What are the talking points? First, let us take all the top political stories we are tra tracking at this time. Nine members of the state working committee of the All Progressive Congress in Oshun State today dumped the party to join the Action Democratic Party, ADP. The former secretary to the Oshun State government, Moshuda Deoti, had a few weeks ago dumped the APC to become the governorship candidate of the ADP. Speaking for the members who led the party, Issa Aziz Adesiji alleged that they left the APC because they could not stand injustice and impunity any longer. Highest level of injustice. But the director of publicity, research and strategy of the APC in Oshun State, legal practitioner Kung Lo Yatomi, says the decision of the deputy chairman and others who left the APC will not have any effect on the success of the party at the polls come September the 22nd. I don't know what they regard as injustice, unfortunately. Be that as it may, we wish them a great luck. In staying with Oshun State, the High Court sitting in Oshubo, the state capital, has entertained preliminary objections in counter affidavits in respect of a suit challenging the eligibility of governorship candidates of the People's Democratic Party in the state, Senator Ademola Adeleke, and adjourned the case till Wednesday for ruling on the plaintiff's prayers before the court. Citing Section 177, Subsection D of the Nigerian Constitution, the plaintiffs, Mr. Rashid Latunji and Mr. Edou Uluwashion, had on the 23rd of July 2018 approached the court contending that the PDP candidate was not eligible to participate in the primary election of the party because he doesn't possess minimum required educational qualification, praying the court to set the election aside. As all political parties prepare for the September 22nd governorship election, the Labour Party has adopted Babatunde Olani Loye as its flag bearer for the election. The official declaration was drawn at a stakeholders meeting in Oshogo, the state capital. After the adoption, the governorship candidate of the Labour Party in Oshun State, Babatunde Olani Loye, says he is on a rescue mission to salvage the deteriorating economic situation in the state. The suffering, the suffering, we are ready to take them out of it. In a show of solidarity to reflect their membership of the new party, members of the Loring West chapter of the People's Democratic Party have burned their PDP membership cards while also repainting their secretariat building to the colour of the All Progressives Congress, all in a bid to declare their defection to the APC. The chairman in Loring West PDP, Abdul Salam Sulaiman, said 95% of its members have decamped and are now members of the All Progressives Congress. In Loring West's local government area of Kwara State is where the president of Senate, Dr. Bukola Saraki, hails from. However, the PDP chairman of that local government in a symbolic gesture says he and the majority of his members have defected to the APC as they cannot be in the same party with Dr. Saraki. No more umbrella. There is proof now. And we are with the proof. We are sweeping them away. Following the petition allegedly signed by three Lagos senators against the nomination of Mwiz Banire as Asset Management Company of Nigeria, AMCON chairman, Coalition of Lagos Youths has demanded the petition be withdrawn at a press conference held in Lagos. 
The group berated the federal lawmakers of politicizing the nomination to score cheap political points instead of serving the interests of Nigerians, especially Lagos State. We advise the distinguished Lagos senators to consider withdrawing the petition in the interest of well-meaning Lagosians. <laughs>